And today I am trying the Bershka cargo skirts. Now I've already tried the Stradivarius cargo pants. I've done two videos on those already. They were the cargo pants that just went completely viral on TikTok. As soon as I saw these skirts from Bershka, I just knew they would be like the next viral thing. I don't actually know if they've gone viral yet already. I have searched on TikTok and I can't really see like too many videos. Definitely like nowhere near as viral as the Stradivarius cargo pants. But thought I'd get them in every colour and try them on for you all since everyone loved the trying on the famous Stradivarius cargo pants. So I thought I'd do it as well with the Bershka skirts. So I did actually pick these skirts up in four colours. Now they didn't have the baby pink ones which I'm really upset about because I probably like those the most. So I just went for every other colour as you do. Now these are meant to be like a low waisted skirt. I don't actually know how like I feel. Like I feel like low waisted jeans, skirts, like cargoes, like they do look really good. Good. They have recently just come back into fashion because everyone's just been wearing high-waisted things for ages I used to always wear like low-waisted shorts when I went on holiday But obviously that was when I was like 15 and I had the belly for a low-waisted skirt Now the good thing about these ones is you can wear them low-waisted and slightly higher-waisted It depends like how your hips are because I found like as I kind of lowered them towards my hips They got a bit tighter but the good thing is all of these do have an adjustable belt which is really handy because when I first put them on I was like oh my god these aren't going to fit me and then I could just like adjust the belt make it like tighter or looser which is really handy that's one thing that the Stradivarius cargoes does not have and we all know that they are just the sizing for them were absolutely terrible I posted this TikTok, I've spoke about this in one of my previous videos, about how like literally people were ordering the same size, well I ordered the same size and they all fit completely differently and it was so weird and then I had like some people comment like oh my god like I had like a size 10 and a size 6 and like they fit the same and like it was just like crazy but luckily I've tried all these on and they all do fit the same which is good making progress. I know it's not shot of areas, it's Bershka, but I'm pretty sure they're all under the same company anyway. So, I'm gonna be trying all the skirts on for you all today. And I've like paired them up with like a top of like my choice. I'll link everything down below. I'll try and link all the tops. But if I don't have the links for any of them, because some of the tops I've had like quite a while. So I will try my best. And if I can't find the link, I'll try and find like an alternative. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go straight into the try on. So the first skirt that I tried on is the white one. I feel like white just looks so good with the tan. Going to Ibiza this week, so I'm definitely going to be taking this with me. So the skirt has like an adjustable belt strap, like I said before, which is really good to kind of like adjust it how you want. Like say if you're going out for dinner and you wanted it a bit tight before you go out. Good thing is you can adjust the belt. So if you do eat too much, you can make it looser. So these are in a size eight. I did actually get all of them in a size eight and they all fit the same, which is good. I'd say they are meant to be low waist, but in the video, I have in the clips, I have put them a bit more higher waist. I don't know, like I feel like they just didn't really sit right when I had them that low waist. So I just don't know whether it looked weird on me, but I'll insert the clips of it low waist and high waist. When you do have it a bit higher though, they are quite short, but I think that is generally because they're meant to be like a low waist skirt. I do really like this one. I paired it up with the top that I'm wearing now actually. So this top is from Urban Outfitters. It's the Ayets. Friends, I never know how to pronounce that. And then the next colour I got was this green, greeny, yeah, I'd say it was a green colour. I don't know, people might think that's yellow, but I'd say it was like green. Let me just check what colour it was on the website because then that will confirm it for me. So I actually did get all these skirts in the sale, which is crazy. I actually did wait for them to go in the sale because... I think like Bershka, Zara, Stradivarius, like all of like those companies were having this big massive sale on, which was last week. But I've just gone on the app and the sale's still on. So if you want to grab yourself any of these skirts, they are on the website for a cheap price. Yeah, okay, so the green one is called Lime, so it is like a neon-y, greeny colour. That one was only $12.99, reduced from $22.99. And then all the other ones were $17.99. 
reduced from £22.99, which isn't that bad actually. So I got all of them for literally like £60. So when I actually saw the lime one on the website, I was actually most excited for this, but when I tried it on, I wasn't too keen. I don't know what it is. I feel like because it's like one of them neon-y bright colours, I mean, it's not really neon, but it's quite bright for like a lime colour. I feel like it'll just look a lot better with a tan. I'm going to Ibiza this week on Friday in a few days. So I feel like this would actually look so nice on holiday with a tan. I think it's just because like I'm quite pale at the moment. So I'm going to save this one for when I go to Ibiza. I mean, if it was probably full price, I probably would have sent it back. And if I wasn't going to Ibiza, to be fair. But because it was literally like 12 99 and I'm going away next week, I am going to take it with me and keep it. Again, it's the same as the white one. It's got the belt and also front pockets it doesn't actually have back pockets which i thought it would but i don't really use back pockets anyway so that is the lime one and then to pair it up i went for this like rib top i spoke about these tops before on my channel basically these tops are from aliexpress but they're like dupes of the urban outfitter ones i saw these tops like go viral like from urban outfitters on tiktok and i swear like on on the website they're literally like 20 pounds which i know isn't actually too bad for a top but when it's just like a little vesty top like this just think that's quite expensive so normally if i see something like that that's quite like basic i always go onto aliexpress which is a little hack here because there's always dupes for stuff like that i think they do like dupes for opoly and stuff but i don't i've not actually tried any of those out myself so i don't know what the quality would be like but these are literally identical and they are three pounds so i did buy these tops in every single color as i do with anything that i buy I just buy it in every color <laughs> but i just thought for like the sake of three pounds i don't feel as bad buying it in every color because I literally bought like a million colours. But anyway, I have done a video on it. I will link where I got it from down below. But if you do want to see this top in other colours, like I got lilac, I got green, I got pink, I got black, I got orange, then I will have a video dedicated for this. I'll leave the link in the description. But if it's not already up, then it will be up soon. So yeah, I just thought as well, because I was pairing it with the lime colour, I feel like because this is such like a bright out there colour, I thought I'd tone it down with just the plain white tee. I mean, you could wear any white tee. It doesn't have to be this one. Moving on to the next skirt. So, I picked it up in this colour, which is the camel one. Now, this is actually the original skirt that I saw on TikTok. And I was just like, oh my god, I've literally got to get that for a holiday. This is probably my favourite out of all of them. And I feel like this colour would also look really good with a tan. Like, you know, like when you wear like beigey tan, like like camel coloured things. And then like you're darker than that colour. I feel like it just looks so good. So I'm excited to wear this next week in Ibiza when I've got the fat tan. I paired this one up with this top, which is from Pull&Bear. Oh my God. I made this mirror myself and it just, every day it just falls apart. I try and glue the baubles back on and it just keeps falling apart. So if you hear any weird noises of like lights falling, it's that. It doesn't look too bad. There's only one missing there and a few at the bottom. <laughs> to be fair though, it was a bargain because them Hollywood mirrors, I'm sure like people sell them off for like hundreds of pounds. And I literally bought the mirror off Ikea for like 45 pounds. And then the lights of Amazon were like £10 and I just stuck them on myself. I mean, this is the example of why it's not the best and doing it cheap. But DIY and a cheaper alternative. Anyway, so back to the video. I got this from Pull and Bear, but it was actually the Pull and Bear in Madeira when I went on holiday last year. So I don't actually know if it's on the website, but if it is, and if I can find it, I'll link it down below. And if I can't, then I'll try and find like an alternative and link that down below as well. But yeah, I just thought it's a nice little tee. Zara do a lot of these tops as well. Obviously not with this pattern on here, but like plain ones. I've got those in like every colour as well. But they, they'd also go really nice. Like maybe like a white one would go really nice with skirts. The last colour I picked up in was black because I feel like you just can't go wrong with black. I literally used to just wear black denim skirts all the time when I was younger. I think I've actually still got them somewhere in my wardrobe, but obviously they definitely won't fit me now. 
that's just reminding me that I do actually need to do a big clear out. I was thinking actually of doing like a binted clear out video. I don't know, actually know if anyone would watch that, but it would motivate me to actually do it because I've got so many clothes that I just need to get rid of. But if you would like to buy any, let me know and I can do a video and I can leave my vintage in the description for people to go and have a look. I do actually need to do that really because there's so many clothes like in my wardrobe that is just lying about that need to be worn again by someone else because I'm literally just not wearing them. Like I've got boxes and boxes of stuff and I just think, oh no, like I'll wear that one day. And then like the box has been in the same place for like a year and it's like I'm obviously not going to wear it so I <laughs> really need to sell them. So that is definitely on my next task of things to do but probably going to do that when I get back from Ibiza because I've got a busy week ahead but yeah so these are the black ones again they've got the adjustable buckle belt the pockets and then these this is just kind of like the detail of the belt but obviously they're just the holes for the straps to go in so I paired it up with this top from PLT now this is like one of them corset tee type tops that tie here. I have had this probably like six months. I'm not 100% sure if it's still on the PLT website, but most of the time PLT always kind of do the same things for years. So hopefully it is and I'll link it down below. And if, if not, I will find an alternative. But the good thing about this being like a corset top is because the skirts are low waisted like you can actually kind of see the corsety bit that hangs down like so say if like the skirt was like this this is really hard to show because it's low waisted you can see this bit here whereas if you had like high waisted jeans on or like a high waisted skirt that would like hang over like that when you wear it so that's why I think these corsety tops go actually really nicely with like the low waisted skirts so yeah this top was a size A. I will leave the sizes down below because I've realised I've not said the sizes of the tops, but I'll put it in the description like the usual for everyone. So yeah, that is all of the skirts. I did really want it in the baby pink, but it was out of stock. Knowing me, I probably will order it when it comes back in stock, even though I've already got four colours and I don't need them. But I feel like I'll probably just wear these skirts when I'm on holiday. I'm definitely going to keep the beige and the white ones because they are my favourite. But the other two I might put on Vinted when I do my Vinted clear out. So stay tuned for that video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I am going to do a pack with me for Ibiza. This one's going to be a lot more organised than my last one. I don't know if anyone watched my last one. But it was a very last minute night before actually it was a few hours before I was due to go to the airport because the flight was at like 6am so I needed to be at the airport for like 3am and I started packing at like 7 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock at night so I left it really last minute so that video was just chaos but thanks for anyone who actually watched the whole thing of that. I am going to make this one a bit more organised, not leave it to the night before even though I do actually go to Ibiza in two, three, three days and I've still not got a suitcase yet. That's another thing about this one is when I went to Turkey I only had like a tiny suitcase suitcase like you know like one of the cabin ones and then we ended up extending it for three days like I bought stuff out there and oh my god trying to get everything back was an absolute like nightmare but luckily for Ibiza I've got a big suitcase which is so handy it means I can take all my liquids in after packing for turkey it's made me realize that I'm just going to take a big suitcase everywhere with me now because it's just very stressful with a small one and trying to squeeze everything in so I am yet to film that I'm also going to be doing a vlog for the Ibiza trip we're away for 10 days so depending on how much I vlog, I'll probably do it in two parts. If not, I'll just do like a big long one like I did for my turkey vlog. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. So I'm just going to end the video there. Thank you so much to everyone who's watched this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I shall see you all in the next video. Missing someone. Missing someone.